Hallelujah. Praise the living God. We are all welcome to this special week of restoration services in Jesus' mighty name. Papa said, Praise the Lord. Father, we enter into your presence in Jesus' mighty name. Papa said, Vision is the ability to see the future and to know how to get there. God, through his servant, has seen the opportunity for we to be restored. And therefore, he has organized this program for we to be restored on every side. We say, Father Almighty, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lift your voices and appreciate him for this singular opportunity. Philippians chapter 4, verse 10, the Bible says, For ye lack opportunity. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. Thank you for the open heavens. Thank you for the revelations that will flow through your servant. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the total restoration that will take us to a new glory, into a new phase of ministry. We appreciate you. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we're giving thanks. We declare the service to the of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. You are good and your mess is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mess is forever. Hallelujah. Oh, you are good and your mess is forever. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, you are good and your mess is forever. Jehovah, you are the 
everlasting God in heaven, we thank you, we praise you, we worship your name for you are faithful from ages to ages. Take all the glory for your faithfulness in our lives in PCT Church International. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Please, you may have your seat. In this session, we shall be taking our prophetic declaration for the year and for the month. Our prophetic declaration for the year, this is our year of supernatural open doors. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. We shall be declaring supernatural open doors to PC Church International, to God's San Felicolo, to everyone generally connected to them, online and on ground. Be on your feet, lift up your voices, and begin to declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare supernatural open doors, answer to PCT Church International, answer to God San Felicolo, answer to everyone genuinely connected to them online on ground around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural open doors for business breakthroughs, answer to all genuinely connected to God San Felicolo, to PCT International, in the name of of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare supernatural open doors to PCT Church International. Father, for influx of multitudes, in the name of Jesus Christ, I know thy words. Behold, I have set before thee an open door which no man can shut. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree, we declare supernatural open doors for in-depth of revelations in God's word as your son Felicolo study and meditate and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural open doors, Father, for transfer of wealth around the globe in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural open doors, Father, for raising of kings. Answer to your servant, Venezuela, in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural open doors, Father, in raising kings and queens with gold and silver around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer to your servant, Venezuela, in the name of Jesus. We decree, we declare supernatural open doors, Lord, for miracles, strange miracles, financial miracles, said miracles in marital laws, in academies, in business expansion, in business establishment, answer to all, genuinely connected to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural open doors, answer to PCT Church International for a speedy acquisition of our properties in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Our prophetic declaration for the month, this is a month of answered prayers. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. We shall be declaring our month of answered prayers to Peace Church International, to God San Felicolo, to everyone generally connected to them, online on ground, lift up your voices, and begin to declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, we declare answered prayers to PCT Church International, to God San Felicolo, to everyone generally connected to them, all our previous, all our present, all our future prayers, oh Lord, we declare them answered in the name of Jesus Christ. The past prayers, the present prayers, PCT Church International have prayed unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare them answered in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare them answered with speed, answered with speed, answered with speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, prayer we have prayed. This is international God, San Felicula have prayed for the acquisition of our property this month. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare them answered in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that, oh Lord, our past, our present prayer we have prayed for our health recovery for the fruit of the womb, for open doors of job opportunities, in the name of Jesus Christ, answered in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree that we declare in the name of Jesus Christ, prayer for surpassing wisdom, answered in the name of Jesus Christ, for your servant for the solo, we pray a prayer for in-depth of revelation, answered in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for wealth transfer, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it is done, in the name of Jesus Christ, strange words shall answer to our San Felicolo, PCT Church International from around the globe in the name of Jesus Christ by that same order that Queen of Sheba answered with gold, with silver, with frankincense, and man, Lord, to Solomon in the name of Jesus. So shall it be to our San Felicolo from around the world. Kings and queens shall answer to him with their gold, with their silver. Lord, that Gentiles shall answer to him with their king, with their gold, with their silver. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree in the name of Jesus 
Jesus Christ, our prayer for business expansion, for fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus Christ, and business fruitfulness answer, in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll pray that our prayer for strength, financial strength, financial increase, financial expansion, answer to all the only connected to Peace Church International, God's son, the Lissolo, in the name of Jesus Christ. They are answered in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray for political breakthroughs. We we'll pray for political breakthroughs, starting from presidency, Lord, to state governors, Lord, to local government chairman, to counselors. They are answered in the name of Jesus. PCT Church International shall have their men in the level of the presidency, in the level of the state, in the level of the local government and the councils in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree, we declare that our job internationally, Lord, breakthroughs answered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. God has heard us, shall we give him thanks. Mighty Father, we give you glory and praise and honor, adoration, thanksgiving for him and answering us. In Jesus' mighty name. You may have your seat. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory in Jesus Christ's mighty name. This is an opportunity God has given unto us through his servant that we will be blessed and be restored all round. We are going to shortly rise on our feet and pray that this opportunity of restoration will not pass us by and it will never be in vain. God said he has never asked us to seek him in vain. Rise on your feet and pray in the name of Jesus Christ that this opportunity to be restored in every area of life will not pass us by this church international God's servant our lives as your new members lift the voices and declare and express your heart desires in the name of Jesus almighty God king of glory you've never asked us to seek you in vain we ask oh God of heaven beginning from this day all through this special week of restoration we ask oh God may you visit the PCT church international in the name of Jesus we ask for a total all-round restoration total all-round restoration spiritually, physically financially, opportunity lost in the past, 10 years past, 15 years past, 20 years past, this commission, your server and every new members, Father we ask all God of heaven for a total restoration in the name of Jesus, restoration in health, in marriage, in business, in careers Father, we ask for restorations. We are so restorations. We are so restoration. Restored. 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 Every opportunity lost. Every opportunity damaged. Every opportunity that have escaped us. Your church, business international, in every area. Expectations are target this year. Oh God of heaven. Whatsoever is still missing. We ask law for the total restorations. A total restorations. Total restorations in marriages, expectations be restored in the name of Jesus. No restored, restored in Jesus' mighty name. Let's appreciate God. Yes, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We celebrate you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Shall we lift our hands one more time and bless the name of the Lord from your heart and give him all the praise. And ask him to make this restoration week indeed your week of restoration. Just like God's servant led us a few seconds ago, press in now and ask the Lord to make this week indeed for you a week of restoration. In Jesus' mighty name. You'll be praying again before we receive the word and pray. Using the blood of Jesus to cover your family members. And decree that in this month you will not lose any member of your family. There are many reasons why God has asked us to come to this mountain for the next five days. And this is one of them. Father, by the blood of Jesus, I exempt all my family members from untimely deaths from violence, from accidents, from wickedness, from destruction. Let the blood preserve every life connected to me genuinely. Open your mouth, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I beg you, 
this is one of the reasons that God commanded us to come up on this mountain. Let nobody please pray, play with these moments. The blood of Jesus Christ over my life, over my family, over my loved ones. This month of April shall not be a month of tragedy. It shall not be a month of loss. It shall not be a month of crisis. It shall not be a month to record any form of affliction. This month of April, is, I'm not permitted to sorrow, to face shame or, or embarrassment. I release the blood of Jesus Christ. Please, child of God, pray that prayer with all of your heart. Release the blood over your loved ones, your husband, your wife, your brothers, your sisters. Please take that prayer seriously. Your children, release the blood over your children. Release the blood over your family members. If you are praying, engage your heart as you pray. If you are praying, engage your heart as you pray. If you are praying, engage your heart as you pray. If you are praying, engage your heart as you pray. The blood of Jesus Christ upon our households. The blood of Jesus Christ upon our households. The blood of Jesus Christ upon our loved ones our families our friends our well wishers child of god please i want you to press in this prayer with all of your heart the blood of jesus christ upon our families no tragedy is permitted no crisis is permitted no loss of any life no one going to the wheelchair no one shall be deformed all the plans and the purposes of the enemies are aborted by the blood of jesus Pray it a few more seconds and be very intentional. Be very intentional. You are not safe if God is not your security. You are not safe if God is not your security. Go ahead and release the blood of Jesus. No child is permitted to die. No youth. No woman. No man. No one on the altar in the pew. The blood defends us, protects us, preserves us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Ask the Lord to give you understanding tonight that will provoke your first testimony after this meeting. Pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me understanding tonight that will provoke my first testimony after this meeting. Pray it, pray it, pray it. Pray it, pray it. The essence of coming to God is to be transformed in out. We come to God to be transformed. He transforms us inside, internally. He transforms us outside, externally. Lord, open me up tonight to hear something with my ears, to receive something with my heart, to have an encounter with you that will produce testimonies in my life. in jesus name we have prayed precious father we thank you it is by your instruction that we're here today the first of many more days to be on this mountain please make it worth it for us let no one remain the same after this season let testimonies be forcefully born let captivity be broken let destinies be turned around for good let stories of pain and failure, delay, setback, and disappointments be turned to glory. Amen. I ask that tonight you pour out your presence as your spirit upon everyone. That no one on this mountain, on line, on ground shall remain the same. Death is arrested. Amen. Death is subdued. Amen. Wickedness is arrested. Amen. Wickedness is subdued. Amen violence is arrested Amen. and violence is subdued Amen. the peace you have given to us nothing will tamper it Amen. as we pay the price to appear in your presence all through these five days lord the rest of this year nothing shall tamper with our peace Amen. let there be open doors tonight Amen. let there be confirmed breakthroughs Amen. in jesus name 
Please take your seats. Jesus deserves a hand of praise celebrating. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. It is our special week of restoration. And I want you to please approach this the next five days like your life depends on it. This is not a regular service. It's not a normal meeting. It's a prophetic meeting. At the instance of the voice of God to his servants. Tonight, on this first night, I'll be sharing with us understanding the order of restoration. Understanding the order of restoration. Understanding the order of restoration. Restoration is not a free gift of God. Restoration is not a free gift of God. If anyone is going to experience restoration, you have to place an order for restoration. You have to place a demand for restoration. And so, what that means is that even if you are going through difficulties, even if you are going through things that can take your life, God forbid, or you are faced with something that, can, that threatens your entire well-being or existence. If you do not order for restoration, you might die. God forbid. So if anyone will be restored, you must play an active role in commanding or triggering and experiencing restoration. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22, is our star scripture for tonight. It says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. We know what it means to be robbed. To be forcefully dispossessed of what is yours. To be criminally dispossessed of what is rightfully yours, legally yours. He said they are spoiled. As they gather, it is scattered. As, as they gather, it is vandalized by forces, by men, and all of that. He said they are all of them snared in holes, many held captive. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prayer. The enemies come at will, attack them at will. You know that every prayer is helpless before the predator. Every prayer is helpless before the predator. He said, therefore, a prayer and non deliverance for a spoil and none saith restore. They cry about their circumstances, they complain, they murmur, they weep, they mourn, but no one saith restore so the restoration process begins when a man places an order for restoration and that's why when we get to the time of prayer please pray with everything in you God will not move in your favor because you are crying God will not move in your favor because you are homeless God will not move because you are hungry God will not move because you are sick. God will not move because somebody has mocked you or ridiculed you. God will only move when someone says restore. Praise the Lord. Now, in the celestial realm, the celestial realm is the heavenly realm, the God realm. There are three dispensations for the human age. God has three dispensations for the human age. That is a celestial design for the human age. The human age is a world where men, where men live or man lives. In the celestial realm, there are, there are three dispensations for the human age. 
the first dispensation is the dispensation of creation that was the first dispensation of the celestial realm the celestial order was creation the creation of man the creation of the world the creation of living things the beginning of the world genesis chapter 1 1 to 3 establishes this first of the three celestial dispensations in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void darkness upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved upon the face of the waters verse 3 and god said let there be light and there was light and so on and so forth and that first dispensation was successfully executed after the execution of that first dispensation something happened after creation we know the story man fell when man fell in the garden of eden he lost every right to security to safety to fruitfulness to multiplication to peace to sweatless labor to comfort now the fall of man was what triggered the second celestial dispensation of the human age and what is that dispensation it is the dispensation of restoration the dispensation of restoration the first dispensation is dispensation of creation the second is the dispensation of restoration that dispensation was activated by God and the primary purpose was to restore man and that restoration has many phases many phases the first was to restore man back to fellowship with God to restore man back to fellowship with God and that's the summary of the, the, the death, the sacrifice, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ the second was to restore man from the nature of sin to restore man from the nature of sin man was corrupted at the fall in the garden of Eden so when God activated the second celestial dispensation of restoration was to restore man to fellowship with God because man had lost his, his access to God he became alienated to God secondly to restore man from sin it was because of the fall of man in the garden of Eden that God said for all have sinned whether you are born today you are still in the womb for all have sinned they sinned at the garden of Eden The third dimension of that restoration dispensation is to restore man from the captivity of Satan. To restore man from the captivity of Satan. Where he was caged, chained, crippled, subdued by Satan the devil. And the last part of that restoration dispensation agenda is to restore man from being victim of the evils of the world. To restore man from being victim of the evils of the world. This second celestial dispensation of the human age is what we are in now. And it is, it's been here for over 2,000 years. It's going to be here until we get to the third dispensation. I will talk about the third dispensation and then we come back to the second because the second is the dispensation where we are now. The third dispensation, so let's say dispensation for the human age, is the dispensation of perfection. Number three, 
is the dispensation of perfection the bible says describes it like when this mortality shall have put on immortality when we are transported from this fallible realm to an infallible realm when we have been moved from this natural state to a supernatural state the the perfection dispensation will be heralded by the second coming of jesus the first is the second coming of jesus the second angle to it is the rapture of the saints and the third angle to that perfection dispensation is eternal life the eternity we spend with god the eternity we spend with god now the moment we get to this third celestial dispensation god's agenda for the world will end god's agenda for the world will end everything that has to do with the terrestrial will be phased off man will become a celestial being live in a celestial world become a celestial member first is 4 16 and 17 talks about the dispensation of perfection he said for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise first verse 17 then we somebody say we because we won't die how many will die say i won't die jesus said there'll be some of you that will not taste of death he says, so we which are alive read from there with me together so that your spirit can catch this revelation one to go then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord the perfection dispensation what we're witnessing now is the second celestial dispensation which is the restoration dispensation romans 3 23 to 25 summarizes this restoration dispensation romans chapter 3 23 to 25 romans 3 say for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god verse 4 being justified freely by his grace through redemption that is in christ jesus 25 together whom god has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of god this restoration process of god seemed to be taking so long because a lot of believers a lot of people are struggling to catch up with what god intends for us at this time but god is committed intentionally to every step a man takes for restoration because that is the celestial dispensation of the human age for the now so every time a man cries for restoration heaven responds every time a man rises and says i want restoration heaven responds and my prayer for you is that in this season as your voice is heard in heaven your restoration shall be authorized on earth you didn't hear what i said i said as your voice is heard in heaven your restoration shall be authorized on earth let me hear your amen in the name of jesus so what is restoration what is restoration we'll define restoration in three ways I may carry over these definitions all through the five days and I may change them. The first definition is to fix or repair something. To fix or repair something. If something is damaged it, and can be fixed, restoration means to fix it or to repair it. If something is broken and can be patched, can be gathered back, restoration means to fix it or to repair it for example you have a thorn cloth you can fix it it can be repaired that's restoration what is restoration be to renew something to renew something to renew something 
to renew something. If something seems to be phasing away, seems to be dying off, seems to be losing its relevance, it can be renewed. That's restoration. It seems to be phasing away, it seems to be dying off, it seems to be losing its relevance, it can be renewed. And what is restoration? C, to recall or reestablish a season. To recall or reestablish a season. To recall means something that has passed. You can recall it. I mean, it's more or less like saying to reverse. To reestablish a season. Maybe a season passed. Restoration means to recall it, to reverse it, to reestablish it. Please follow me. Follow me because this season is very prophetic. There are three kinds of restoration. And that will be the focus of my teachings tonight. And then we quickly go back to the place of prayer for some time. There are three kinds of restoration. Number one is restoration to a former glory. Restoration to a former glory. The first kind of restoration is what? Can I hear you loud and clear? Restoration to a former glory. This is for those who have had better yesterdays than today. I want you to listen attentively. This restoration to former glory, to a former glory, is for those who have had better yesterdays than today. People who their past was far better than their present. It is like saying you fared better. Things were better for you in the past. So much so that when you remember your present, you cry. When you remember how good life used to be, you weep. Because the best days of your life are behind. As long as the success of the past that you enjoyed was not rooted in sin, was not rooted in compromise, was not rooted in ungodly prosperity, God can restore that glory. If that glory of the past, you see, that's why a lot of times as believers, we must be careful what we say. We must be careful how we carry ourselves. Some people, some people say, um, my past used to be better. I used to have this number of cars. I used to have this level of comfort. I used to, used to have so much money. I used to enjoy prosperity. What is going on with me right now is as if God has forgotten me. The truth is this. God will not restore a former glory that was rooted in iniquity. So if a believer knows that you, you prospered in the past, you had a good job in the past, you had cars in the past, you had so much money in the past, you had prosperity in the past, you had connection in the past, and all of those things were rooted in iniquity. They were rooted in ungodly practices. They were proceeds or products of unwholesome practices. You dare not ask God for restoration of the former glory because God will not restore you to a glory he did not place on you. And this is why many believers miss it. Because they just come out and say, my yesterday things used to be better in the past and they know that all of those glory of the past was not traceable to God. They broke so many laws. They told so many lies. They compromised at so many levels. They even destroyed people. In situations like that, God does not owe you restoration of the past. Because in the first place, he will not protect what he has not given to you. But if anyone had a better yesterday than their present. Their yesterdays were smoother, they were wealthier, they were more comfortable and maybe by virtue of satanic attack, maybe ignorance, hatred of the enemies, conspiracies of wicked people, they were robbed and spoiled and the glory was stolen from them. Every time they pray for restoration, God will rise up and restore them. Do you now see why a lot of believers pray for, they say, God, 
restore my former glory and God will be saying to you there is no glory to restore there is no glory to restore because if God was not the center of the past prosperity he will not restore anything to you but the first kind of restoration with God is restoration to a former glory where you used to be that was better than where you are now God can restore you back to that place and I pray for somebody here everyone that used to enjoy a better life yesterday clean life prosperity prosperity without compromise and for one reason or the other the enemy knocked you out before the end of these five days that glory shall be restored in the name of Jesus let me hear that amen from the depth of your heart in Joel chapter 2 25 to 27 Joel 2 25 to 27 and I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 27 together. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Haggai chapter 2 verse 3. Haggai chapter 2 verse 3. It says, who is left among you that saw this house in her, former glory, in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? So it means that if you look back and your yesterday was better than today and it is not because of sin it's not because of unwholesome practices perhaps the manipulations of the enemies God is committed to restoring you Isaiah 61 and verse 7 for your shame you shall have double and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them this is the first kind of restoration restoration to a former glory the second kind of restoration is restoration to a desired order restoration to a desired order like i said listen carefully they are distinct and i pray you get them so you know where you group yourself like I said in, in number one, I've seen lots of believers who cry and say, Pastor, I used to have so much in the past. Things used to be better. I used to be very rich. And when you go to God to pray for restoration, that is nothing God will restore because he did not alter that prosperity of the past. It was laced with compromise. So oftentimes God will let those things happen and they will pass so that he starts you up on a new foundation. But now look at this second kind of restoration. Restoration to a desired order. As human beings, we have our personal desires and expectations. We have our hopes and we set our targets. Sometimes, things go slightly or majorly contrary to those desires that we have. Those dreams we have for ourselves and we feel like we have failed. If you are in such a circumstance tonight and you notice that you had this vision, you had this plan, you had this purpose, you had this target, you were pursuing at some time, and at a certain time, you were making progress, but all of a sudden, you saw yourself, everything turned upside down. This is where you come in. God said, I will restore you to your desired order. Things were working from the beginning, all of a sudden, they turned upside down. God said, I will restore you to your desired order. When you come to that point in your life that you think you have failed and you wish you had a second chance, you wish you could turn the hands of time back, that's when you begin to pray for restoration to a desired order. I say, Lord, I started out well, all of a sudden, everything turned upside down. Lord, restore me to this desired order. This is what I want. This is where I want to be. So I need your restoration. There may be some of you here that may have missed, hear this carefully, may have missed divine opportunities, may have blown divine open doors, 
may have abused divine connections, may have messed up divine platforms, this is where you come in. Because you are crying, you are saying, God, I wish I can have the kind of opportunities I had before now. Things will no more be the same. God has sent me to say to you, that's your desired order. I will restore you back to that order. I met someone that, when this person was younger, had strange access to multi-billionaires. Multi-billionaires. And these, these billionaires were not, they were not out there looking for anything. They just took that like by favor on this person. And they were always giving money and giving all the support. But this person kept being reckless with finances. Believing that you were going to have these relationships or connections forever. A time came when the enemy hit. A time came, circumstances turned around. A time came that things dried up. And these people that were behaving like they couldn't do without this person suddenly started hating on this person. They were no more taking the calls. And that was about the time I met the person. And the person said to me with teary eyes, I wish God can give me a second chance. There was no sin committed. There was no fraud committed. It was just a divine access. Divine open doors. He said, I wish God will show me mercy again. I wish God will restore me again. I wish God can touch the heart of these people again. So they can come back and favor me like before. I tell you, sir, I'll be wiser now. I will appropriate these blessings in better ways. Now, maybe that person is joining this service from around the world. Now, I speak to that person. By the end of this meeting, God will restore those connections to you. In case there's anyone here that you destroy divine opportunities, you abuse them, you messed up divine open doors, you shut them by your hands, on this mountain tonight, God will restore you to that former order. Let me hear your amen in the name of Jesus. There are people that used to enjoy uncommon favor. All of a sudden, everything dried up. And you hear them say, I, I wish God can give me a second chance. Every time I talk with this individual, this person will say, sir, do you know I dash cars? Do you know I could give people 2 million, 3 million, 7 million? Do you know I rented houses for people? Do you know I could just wake up in the morning, on a Monday morning, and I'm feeling bored, and I will just pick up my phone and call somebody and say, can you get me a Dubai visa? I want to go to Dubai in the night or tomorrow. And in less than 24 hours, the visa will be ready. The person will just go to Dubai and just relax and come back for nothing. And people were paying these bills. But suddenly the enemy shut the doors. Now, can I prophesy to you, for that area you want a second chance. On this mountain tonight, God will give you a second chance. I don't know what you lost. I don't know what you think that if you had managed it better, life would have been better for you today. I decree that God Almighty shall give you a second chance after this service. If you are saying amen, say amen with your heart. Nobody can help you again if you miss opportunities like this. If you miss restoration opportunities, nobody can help you again. If you miss such prophetic meetings, you are finished. You might die old, no marriage, no child, no job, nothing. This kind of opportunity is an opportunity that God gives to people when he determines to step in and show you mercy and reverse the course. And I pray you will not miss your opportunity. In Proverbs 10 and 24, it said, The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him. Look at the B part. But the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So God is saying, that's your desire the enemy attacked. That's your thing you were pursuing and the enemy invaded you, overtook you and derailed you. I will restore you. In Proverbs 23, 17 and 18, he said, let not thy heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end. Read this with me from beginning. One to go. For surely there is an end. And that expectation you have, that expectation you have shall not be cut off. Or maybe you said, I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. And somehow the enemies overtook you and derailed you. I'm telling you that after this meeting, God is going to restore you. You'll become that man, that woman you desire to become. 
If you are saying them and say it with all of your heart. If you are saying them and say it with all of your heart. If you want that restoration, shout that amen with all of your heart. I have a friend who said to me, I desire to be a pharmacist in my life. I didn't have the opportunity. He managed to get his OND. After some years, he managed to get his HND. And then things became tough. He gave up. He was in his 50s and met a man and in, in conversation, the man asked him, what are your dreams? He said, my dream was to be a pharmacist. But circumstances and problems and issues of life, I couldn't continue. I wish I could fulfill that dream. The man asked him, do you have the capacity to read? He said, yes. The man said, fine. The man went back to London got him admission and brought him over to London at 50 plus today he's a pharmacist can I prophesy to you you will have a second chance after this service you will have a second chance after this service God who is the maker of men he will give you a second chance after this service let me hear your amen in the name of Jesus in Psalm chapter 9 verse 18 it says for the needy shall not always be forgotten the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever praise the Lord the third kind of restoration the third kind of restoration is restoration to a divine order restoration to a divine order restoration to a divine order this is when God turns around the situation in line with his primary purpose for a man's life. Maybe you've been going your way, doing your things and having little profit, some level of success, some level of recording, some level of improvement. And then God looks at you and knows that you are derailed from his ultimate plan for your life. He sets up a system of restoration to bring you back to divine order. Maybe you walked out of the purpose of God for your life because of carnality, sometimes stubbornness, sometimes ignorance. When God has considered his interest in your life, his assignment for you, he goes after you. He does everything he can do as God to restore you back to divine order. And I will say this to you. It doesn't matter how big your dreams are, like we have the number two where you have your personal decisions or expectations or desires. God's dream for your life will always be greater and better. It will always be greater and better. Maybe all this while, you've been pursuing something and it is not been in line with God's plan for your life. You know, you know you can be, you know you can be succeeding and not be in the center of God's will for your life as a believer. Many years ago, God said to me, not all open doors are my doors. There are certain doors that will look like open doors that will destroy you. They are set up by the enemy. It will look like what you are asking God for. But the end game is to drown you, to crush you, to waste your life. So just in case someone here, you've been doing something, it may have been prospering, it may have been working, maybe recording little progress, but outside God's will for your life, I, I do hope that tonight you will say, God, even if I've been making some level of profit doing this thing, if it's outside your will for my life today, restore me to your will. I want to be in the center of your will for my life. I want to be right where you want me to be in your purpose for me. Many of us have gone through hard times, faced difficulties, because we were swimming against the tide, going against the will of God. Fighting against the purpose of God. There are people that have missed job opportunities, marriage opportunities. These men, these opportunities, these women were ordained by God for them. But out of the humanness of the human being, carnality, our human assessment of people, and then put it side by side with your selfish desires, your personal expectations. 
we have missed these opportunities i tell you something if god placed a man here for you and said this is your man and you walk past him you will never marry the will of god for your life again anything you marry will not drive god's purpose for your life forever so you will need to ask god to restore you to the divine order you will need to cry out to god and say god i think i have missed it just in case i have missed it restore me to the divine order because everything you have gone through everything you are going through we are not imposed by god they befell you because you turned down god's provision for your life you refused to accept god's protocol for your life you refuse to accept god's order for your life your eyes are put up there expectations are high up there and god is making provisions and say go this is the part where i'm taking you you turn them down you will end up walking in the wilderness for a long time let me tell you something there are many believers it is not a witch it is not a wizard it is not that they are not faithful not that they are not giving not that they are not praying they are simply out of the roots to fulfilling destiny they may never know this they will be in church they will do deliverance they will visit all kinds of men in fact they will leave their church and go to all kinds of places they will see never find solution all that is required is god i have missed it restore me back to my divine order from wherever you know i missed it please restore me back i have seen a lot of people in the body of christ they don't live in sin they don't eat their tithes they are faithful in service they are prompt in attending to the voice of god they don't miss church but they are still struggling this is one of the reasons because certain opportunities divinely orchestrated divinely ordained for them looked like nothing looked like small to them and they push these things away and from that moment they miss the track to destiny and no matter how many days weeks months and years you go in the wrong direction you will never arrive at the right destination it doesn't matter how long you walk it doesn't matter how long you pray until you pray the prayer of restoration you will never be restored and those are the believers that any day they backslide come worse than the devil the bible talks about them they have tasted the word they have tasted they have had encounters with god they have tasted the good things of this kingdom when they backslide they become worse than the devil they will never know that a simple problem that was left unsolved was the problem of realignment with god's will and purpose for their lives it was not a witchcraft problem it was not a family foundation problem it was a problem of just saying god restore me back to your original purpose for my life my prayer tonight is if in case there's anyone here who has missed it i don't know how many weeks or how many months or how many days or maybe how many years has passed you by tonight as you pray may god restore you in the name of jesus christ because if god does not restore you you are finished no amount of deliverance will save you no amount of seed sowing will save you no amount of fasting will save you unless you are doing those things seeking for god's restoration to his original order for your life but if you do them in ignorance not being aware of this it will be a wasted effort restoration to a divine order third john one and two beloved that we shall above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. let me start with this scripture by saying in case anything is happening in your life that is not consistent with god's will for your life tonight you shall be restored to divine order first peter 5 and 10 first peter 5 and 10 he said but by the but the grace but the god of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by christ jesus after that ye have suffered a while make you perfect establish 
strengthen settle you after that you have suffered a while make you perfect Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the thoughts I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end let me conclude so we begin to pray if we are going to experience restoration someone must arise and do what it takes someone must arise and do what it takes if it's personal restoration then you must arise family restoration somebody must arise restoration of a nation somebody must arise if no one places an order for restoration heaven will not pay attention to that person's issue he said these are people robbed and spoiled and none say it restore no one to say restore no one to place an order on god place a demand on heaven for restoration you are here tonight to place a demand on heaven i am not the one that will ask god to restore you because oftentimes you could be praying for someone who does not need it as much as you think he or she needs it so what you'll be doing tonight is you will use your mouth and talk to god and say god I want to be restored. There are three dimensions we saw for restoration. Restoration to a former glory. If that former glory was a godly glory, if that, if that former glory was to the glory of God, not, not success that was rooted in iniquity, in evil, then you can ask God to restore you to a former glory. Just in case there was something you were doing in the past and it was flourishing, all of a sudden it turned upside down and where you are now, you are stranded, you are poor, things are tough, things are difficult. You can still ask God to restore you to that desired order. But above all, in case anyone has missed the track of destiny, this night, please ask God to restore you back to his original order for your life. This for me is a high point. You can come from one. You know your past glory. You know the past success. I cannot define your past success for you. You know how you had what you had in the past. So if you want God to restore you to a life of that past, maybe the past is better than the things happening today, then tell God. But if that past, you know it, was not godly, God owes you no restoration of former glory. So you can go ahead and do number two, and most importantly, number three. Praise the Lord. Rise to your feet. Before we begin to pray tonight, I want you to go before God in a minute and say, God, I present myself before you, spirit, soul, and body. If anything will hinder me today, as I tarry on this mountain, purge me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray now in the name of Jesus. If anything will hinder me today, as I tarry on this mountain, purge me. If anything will hinder me today, unforgiveness, anger, bitterness, whatever it is, disobedience, whatever it is, malice, jealousy, whatever it is, negative confessions, doubts, whatever will hinder me today, engage the blood of Jesus and ask for cleansing. Purge me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Purge me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Purge me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? 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 Purge me by the blood of Jesus. Purge me by the blood of Jesus. Let nothing hinder me. Let nothing hinder me. Unforgiveness, anger, malice, jealousy, disobedience. Please be very specific in case the Holy Ghost is showing you what it is that can hinder you. Present it and ask God to purge you by the blood. Purge your heart. 
from worry, from anxiety, from depression, from discouragement, purge your heart of fear, terror. You have gone through, you face so much disappointment that you've prayed to the point where you don't believe that prayer works. Unknown to you, you don't know. Every time it's time to pray, you say, oh, have I not been praying? Ask God to purge you by his spirit. Purge you totally. Ask him to purge you totally. Ask him to purge you totally. Ask him to purge you totally. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lord, we submit ourselves to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus. Let everyone here that the enemy intends to hinder by enemies be purged by the blood. As we cry, hear our cries and give us answers to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name. We'll pray our first prayer and say, Father, restore me to my former glory today. Restore me to my former glory. Remember I said, if that former glory was godly, if it was not a glory that you attained by sin and compromise, then God owes you restoration of former glory. But if that glory was ungodly, God allowed you to lose that glory so that you can get the real glory. You can discover him for real and prosper. So if you're one of those that yesterday was better than today, restore me to my former glory. Let the evil circle of better yesterdays be destroyed in my life and destiny today. Open your mouth, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former glory. Every evil circle that my yesterday will be better than my today, let it be destroyed. The prayer is on your screen if you want to get it. But I want you to look at the prayer and then close your eyes and pray so you will not be distracted. You can take them, there are two different prayers, take them separately. Restore me to my former glory. Are you praying somebody? Are you praying somebody? You had a good job. It's not a job you got by sin or compromise. All of a sudden you lost that job. You had a well-paying job. Maybe the company crashed. The company left Nigeria. Something happened. Maybe somebody set you up. You were served. You can pray for restoration. Restore me to my former glory today. Not tomorrow today. Open your mouth and pray. 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 You live the better, a, very, a more comfortable life in the past than today. Ask God to restore you to your former glory. You enjoyed peace, prosperity, sound prosperity in the past. All of a sudden today things are tough. All of a sudden it's hand to mouth. You knew that the past you were enjoying the favor of God, the blessings of God. All of a sudden things turned upside down. Father, restore me to my former glory. Today, are you praying somebody? If you have to kneel, you kneel. If you have to lie, you lie on the ground. If you have to sit, you sit on the ground. But make sure your heart is crying out to God. Restore me to my former glory. I got this job by a miracle. All of a sudden, they took it away from me. I won this contract by favor. All of a sudden, Satan destroyed it. Lord, you are the God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me. Are you praying somebody? Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former glory. Are you praying somebody? Are you praying somebody? Are you praying somebody? You enjoyed a better life in the past. Not based on compromise or sin. But somehow the enemies came upon you. You lost those divine opportunities. You lost those precious opportunities. You missed those doors were shut against you. Cry out to God. Ask God Almighty to restore you to your former glory today, not tomorrow. Are you praying, somebody? Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Restore me to my former glory. Somebody please pray, please pray, please pray, please pray, please pray. Please pray. There's an evil I've seen in the land. The slaves riding on horses and the princes walking on foot. It's an evil. Open your mouth and pray. 
Restore me to my former glory today. Make sure your heart is engaged. Make sure your heart is engaged. Please make sure your heart is engaged. Restore me to my former glory. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Many of pastors get to the microphone. Many of us are not praying. I want to plead with you to pray. We came here to pray today. And I want you to pray. Let me tell you a very interesting story. Many years ago, pastors get to the microphone. You pray from the mic. You can take one of that. Get to the microphone quickly. Many years ago, I met a very wealthy man. They own a conglomerate in Nigeria today. I won't call names. When I met him, that man was one of those who God used to change my life financially. He would give in the several hundreds of thousands. Several hundreds of thousands. One day, as a loyal person, I took him to my head pastor that year. Pastor Vin. I took him to my head pastor that year. And I, I, I've always had that gift of the prophetic and it was one of the things that captured his attention and we were so bonded. It was so bad that he was paralyzed in Abuja. He couldn't move from his waist down to his feet. I, I carried him on my laps from Abuja to Delta State. He weed on me, he pulled on me and somehow God showed him mercy. So as a loyal boy, I took him to my senior pastor that, that year and I took him to my senior pastor on a Friday. From that Friday, for the next seven months, I called him, he never picked my call. I sent him texts, he never replied my texts. After the seventh month, if I call him, he was busy. By one year after that meeting, I was blocked on his line. One day, I got concerned. I didn't know why. I got concerned and I went to his house. And when I got to the gate, you know, they have their CCTV. And the gate man said to me, Pastor, I don't know what is going on. A guy is inside, but he said, I should tell you he's not around. Well, I, I wasn't heartbroken. That meeting made me cross my mind also. Why did I cross my mind? I said, I will never worship a mortal man. Now, two years after, I was in Abuja somewhere and he walked into me. The first thing he said to me, when I greeted him, the first thing he said to me, he said, are you still with that man? Run for your life. I said, what do you mean? He said, that man is the reason I stopped talking to you all these years. And I said to him in front of more than 15 people, I said, you must be a fool. If someone can convince you to hate a man that saved your life, you're a fool. And I left the dinner table and I walked into my room. And, you know, of course, I had blocked him too the way he blocked me. I didn't know he was calling me. But the next morning, he waited for me at the reception, and we met. And he apologized, and we continued. But watch this. What of all the blessings that were ordained for me all these years? So if God had not shown me mercy, some things would have just stayed the way they are. So when we say, God, restore me to my former glory, don't joke with it. Many of you have lived very high life enjoyed comfort i mean you didn't see you didn't kill anybody no compromise no corruption pure prosperity sound jobs you applied for those that god opened for you and the enemy turned it upside down open your mouth and pray one more time father restore me to my former glory 
Open your mouth, pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, restore me to my former glory. How can you eat on the table and eat on the ground? Restore me to my former glory. How can you drive yesterday and drink today? Oh God, restore me. How can you be promoted yesterday and be naked to Jesus Christ? Father, restore me. How can you be in plenty yesterday and today you are living from hand to mouth? Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me. Somebody pray from your heart. From my former glory, restore me to my former favor, restore me to my former promotion, restore me to my former testimonies, restore me to my former opportunities, restore me to my former conditions in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, restore me to my former glory, 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 restore me to my former glory. Restore me, restore me to my former glory, Jesus Christ, Father, arise, restore me to my former glory, restore me to my former glory, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, restore me to my former glory, restore me to my former glory, restore me to my former glory, restore me to my former favors, restore me to my former miracles, restore me to my former testimonies, restore me to my former breakthroughs, restore me to my former connections, restore me to my former favors in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, restore me to my former glory, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, arise, restore me to my former glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, restore me, restore me, restore me, restore me, restore me, restore me to my former glory in the name of Jesus Christ, restore me, Father, to my former glory, restore me to my former glory. Are you crying to God my former glory? Restore me to my former glory. Show me your mercy and restore me to my former glory in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, Father, show me your mercy, restore me. To my former glory, restore me to my former glory, restore me to my former glory, arise, Father, restore me to my former glory, arise, oh God, restore me to my former glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, restore me to my former glory, 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 restore me. For my former glory, restore me. Father, restore me. For my former glory, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, restore me. 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 For my former blessings. Father, restore me. For my former testimonies. Father, restore me. For my miracles. Father, restore me to my former glory. 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 Are you praying? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Arise. God of restoration. Restore me. 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 Oh, God of restoration. Restore me. Oh, God of restoration. Restore me. Oh, God of restoration. Restore me, restore me to my former glory. 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 Restore me, Father. Restore me, oh God. Restore me, oh God. Restore me to my former glory. To my former glory, Father. Arise, restore me. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me to my former opportunities. Restore me to my former testimonies. Restore me to my former promotion. Restore me to my former connections. Restore me to my former glory. Father, arise. Show me your mercy. And restore me to my former glory. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. 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 Rest
restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me to my lost glory. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me, oh God. 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 For my former glory. For my former glory. For my former glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. For my former glory. I desire restoration. I desire restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. For my Father, glory. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Now bless your name. Show me your blessing. Now restore me, Father. Now restore me, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, restore me. Restore me to my former glory. Restore me, Father. Every lost glory in my life. Restore me back. Every lost glory in my business. Lord, in my marital life. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me, Father. To my former glory. Restore me, Father. 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 Oh God of restoration. Restore me. It is my time. Restore me, Father. To my lost glory. Restore me, oh God. To my former glory. Restore me. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Oh God of restoration. Arise. Restore me. Restore me, Father. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. To my former glory. Restore me. To my former glory. I need a restoration. Restore me, O God. Have mercy on me. Have pity on me. My Father, my Father. Have mercy on me. Have pity on me. Restore me. To my former glory. Restore me. Restore me. O my Father. Arise. By your mercy. Restore me. Let's stop me! Let's stop me! Let's stop me! To my former glory! Father, let's stop me! In my business, let's stop me! In my academics, let's stop me! In my marital life, in my financial life, let's stop me! In ministry, let's stop me! Oh God of restoration, let's stop me! To my former glory, 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 oh God of restoration, let's stop me! Let's stop me tonight on this mountain, show me your mercy and restore me to my former glory. Let's stop me, Father! Let's stop me, Father! Let's stop me, Father! To my former glory, let's stop me, Father! To my former glory, in the name of Jesus, let's stop me, oh God of restoration. Have mercy on me, show me your mercy, pity me, Father. Have mercy on me, and restore me to my former glory, to my former glory, to my former glory. In the name of Jesus, have mercy, restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. Restore me, Father. To my lost glory, restore me, Father. My former glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, arise up. Restore me. My former glory. Oh God, restore me. God of restoration. 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 Restore me. Restore me. The my former glory in my heart. Restore me. The my former glory when I enjoy divine heart. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Restore me to nature. 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 Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. My former glory. Restore me. 
Restore me. Restore me. Oh God. Restore me. Oh God. Restore me. Oh God. Restore me. Oh God. Restore me. God of restoration. Restore me. Go my former. Glory. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restore me. 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 The mother of the church. Restore me. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. 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 Oh God of mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have restore me. Restore my former glory. Restore me. My former glory. Restore me. My former glory. Restore me. My former glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. My former glory. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Let's stop it. Oh God, my father, my father. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Go my father glory. 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 Oh God, of restoration. Arise. Let's stop it. Go my father glory. Oh God. Restore me, that for my glory. Restore me, that for my glory. Restore me, that for my glory. Oh God, of restoration. Restore me, that for my glory. My Father, my Father. Restore me, that for my glory. Every mess, Lord, have mess upon me. Have mess upon me. Have mess upon me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me in the name of Jesus. Restore me in the name of Jesus. Go my last glory. Go my former glory. Go my former glory. Go my former glory of restoration. Go my former glory of favor. Go my former glory of strong testimonies. Go my former glory. Great opportunities. Go my former glory of becoming a celebrant. Oh God, restore me. Go my former glory. Restore me. Go my former glory in the name of Jesus. Restore me, oh God, of restoration. Arise, restore me, restore me, restore me, restore me, oh God, of restoration. Arise, restore me, by your mercy, restore me, restore me, restore me, restore me, oh God, of restoration. Restore me. Restore me, my former glory. Restore me, my former glory. Restore me, 
Plafoma glory. Restore me. Plafoma glory. Restore me. Plafoma glory. Restore me. Plafoma glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restore me. Plafoma glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Plafoma glory. Restore me. Plafoma glory. Oh God of restoration. Restore me. Plafoma glory. Restore me. In the name of Jesus. Name. We have prayed. Amen. We are still on that prayer, the second part of it. There are many people that as the days are going by, things are becoming tougher, rougher, more embarrassing. There are many people that they have more days of hunger than the days of eating sumptuously. There is an evil circle at work. You will pray and say, Father, destroy every evil circle of better yesterdays in my life and destiny today. How can yesterday be better than today? Lord, today that evil circle, let it be destroyed. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, arise and destroy every evil circle. Lord, I pray in your days, Lord, in my life and destiny, to destroy it. Arise and destroy it. Arise and destroy it. Arise and destroy every evil of the science today. Lord, arise. Father, arise and destroy it. Arise and destroy it. Be the sword, be the sword, 
be destroyed today. Be destroyed in my life today. Be destroyed in my destiny by the blood of oh, Jesus Christ. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed by the blood of oh, Jesus. Jesus. My father, my father, every evil circle of better yesterdays in my life, in my destiny, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed in my life, be destroyed. You evil circle of better yesterday, be destroyed. In my life, uh, you evil circle, a better yesterday, uh, be destroyed. In my destiny, by the blood uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, be destroyed. In my life, uh, be destroyed. In my destiny, be destroyed. In my life, uh, financial life, uh, academic life, uh, ministry life. Uh, oh God, yeah, let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Evil circles, hey, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In my life, be destroyed. In my destiny, be destroyed. By the blood of Jesus Christ, be destroyed. Be destroyed. By the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed. By the blood of Jesus Christ, be destroyed. Be destroyed. In full circle, a better yesterday. In my life, in my destiny, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed today. Be destroyed today. Be destroyed today. Be destroyed. If a second of blessed and death, be destroyed my life. Be destroyed my destiny. You evil circle of better yesterdays in my companies, in my business. You are a liar. Be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. Father, I destroy every evil circle of better yesterdays in my life and destiny. I destroy them. On this mountain, Dalisha Kalabada, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. I destroy them, I destroy them, I destroy them, I command them to be destroyed. I command to be destroyed. Every evil circle of better yesterdays, I destroy them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Every evil circle, Lord, I break the yesterday in my life, in my destiny. I command you be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed. Be the soul, 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 be be the soul, the people of Sakar, be the soul, be the soul, my God, Jesus Christ, be the soul, 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 I bring it to an end today, only the wickedness of the wicked, go to an end, come to an end in my life, you need to circle of a better yesterday, in my life and destiny, Lord of Jesus Christ, come to an end of my life. Be this one, 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 be this 
Be this one, 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 be this one
Get loose out of my star. Get loose out of my glory. Get loose out of my dishonor. Get loose out of my testimony. Be destroyed so forever. Be destroyed so forever. Be crushed. Be crushed. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. I pray for second. Be destroyed. 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 Say la kakata la kakia, Europa koto zote, la kakata la kakia, Oko taka bako ro shalata, Europa kata mozaye, la kakata la kakia, Every evil seko, Every evil day yesterday, May destroy my life, May destroy my destiny, May destroy my life, May destroy my destiny, May destroy my life, May destroy my destiny, Now it needs to go back, Lord of the yesterday, I am ready to move forward, with a better tomorrow, with a better today. Hey, Father, by your power, let go of Sokoto, 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 let go of let go of Sokoto, 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 Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are praying again. Our second prayer for tonight. You will pray and say, Father, help me to fulfill my targets and purposes in life, especially in areas I have failed to achieve remarkable progress. Beginning from the targets of this month and this year, help me to fulfill my targets and purposes in life, especially in areas I have failed to achieve remarkable progress. Open your mouth, pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there are areas you are walking like an elephant. There are areas you are struggling here, you are not breaking through. There are areas you have tried everything you can do as a person, and you have not broken through yet. Cry out to God, Father, help me to fulfill my target and purposes in life, especially in areas I Your 
of God in water in the name of Jesus. Father, especially the areas I have failed in the name of Jesus. Father, let me to achieve my target, my purposes, Lord, in life, for the week, for the month, I pray, and for the day, 2022, but especially in the areas I have failed in the name of Jesus. Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, help me. I need your help. Father, help me. I need your help. Father, help me. Lord, don't you feel this? My target of My target of Father, help me. Father, help me. To achieve. To fulfill. Lord, my target. Lord, my purposes. Lord, for the day. Lord, for the mortar. For the week and the year. 2022. Lord, especially in the areas I have failed. To achieve the maximum progress. Father, help me. I need to help you I need to help you I need to help father, I need to help father, I need to help father to achieve my target, my purposes for the month, for the year, especially in the areas I have failed to achieve the maximum progress. Father, help me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, help me to achieve, to fulfill my purpose, my target, my purposes in life, especially in areas. I have failed to achieve the maximum progress in the name of Jesus. God, help me to fulfill my target, my purposes in life, in destiny. Lord, for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, especially the areas I have failed to achieve the maximum progress. Father, help me. 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 Father help me, Father help me. I need to help. I need to help. I need to help. I need to help. In ministry, I need to help. I need to help. In service, I need to help. I need to help. In follow, I need to help. I need to help. Father, I need to help. Father, help me to fulfill my targets, my purposes in life, especially in areas I have failed to achieve the mark of progress. Father help me, 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 Jesus Christ, Father help me, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Father help me, Oh God help me, Father help me, to fulfill my targets and purposes, Father in life, especially in the area I have failed to achieve the back of all of progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Father help me to fulfill my targets, my purposes for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, for the 22, in the name of Jesus Christ, in my life, especially in the areas of Lord, I have failed to achieve the mark of progress in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. But in the name of Jesus Christ, help me to fulfill my targets and purposes. My targets and purposes. But I need to help. 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 Arise and help me. Arise and help me. To fulfill my targets and purposes. In life, especially. In the areas of have To achieve my maximum progress. But I help me. Help me. Oh, God, help me. My father. My father help me. 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 I need to help you go. 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 I can't help myself. Help me, father. Help me, father. I can't help myself. Help me, father. Help me, father. Help me with your grace. Help me with your strength. Help me with your temperament. Help me with your ability. Father, don't be too much. I get the position, especially in the areas of affairs, but I'm doing my own progress. Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, help me. Help me, help me spiritually. Help me financially. Help me academically. Help me ministerially. Father, my father, help me. Father, help me. I need to help. 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 Oh, God, my Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying again our third prayer for tonight. You will pray and say, Father, by your mercy, 
rescue me from all errors that has been derailing me from divine destiny alignment restore me to your perfect way for my life whatever has been derailing me whatever has been delaying me whatever has been diverting me from fulfilling divine destiny lord rescue me from that error restore me to your perfect way for my life raise your voice pray in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus Christ, by your mercy, rescue me from all errors that has been derailing me from divine destiny alignment. Restore me to your perfect will for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy, rescue me from all errors that has been derailing me from divine destiny alignment. Father, by your mercy, by your mercy, rescue me. 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 By your mercy, there's good me. By your mercy, there's good me. Father, there's good me. There's good me by your mercy. There's good me by your mercy. There's good me by your mercy. From all errors that have been delivered me. From the darkest night, there's good me, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore me to your perfect will for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Father, I say, rescue me by your mercy. Restore me. To your perfect will for my life in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy, rescue me from all errors that have been delaying me from divine destiny alignment. Father, rescue me by your mercy, 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 rescue me by your mercy. Let's go be by your mercy. Let's go be by your mercy. Father, let's go be by your mercy. Father, let's go be by your mercy. From all errors that have been delaying me. From the bandits from I am. Father, rescue me. 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 Rescue me. From all errors that have been delaying me. Not delaying me from destiny and life. Rescue me, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, rescue me. Rescue me by your mercy. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, from all errors, I've been delaying me from the bandits now alive. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore me to your perfect will for my life. Restore me to your perfect will for my life. Restore me to your perfect will for my life. By your mercy, restore me to your perfect will. For my life in my academics, Lord, the financial life, Father, in my marriage, restore me, your perfect will for my life, restore us, restore peace in church, Father, restore us, restore us, your perfect will for our life in the name of Jesus Christ, by your mercy, by your mercy, restore me, restore me, your perfect will for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, by your mercy, rescue me from all errors that will derail me from divine personal alignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by your mercy, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me from all errors, from all errors, from all errors, from all mistakes in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, rescue me from all errors that will derail me from divine destiny alignment in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, I restore me to your perfect will for my life. Restore me to your perfect will for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, restore by your mercy, Lord. Restore me by your mercy. Rescue me by your mercy. Rescue me by your mercy. Rescue me from all errors. By your mercy, rescue me from all errors that will cause me. Lord, let me derive from me my destiny, be my destiny, my life.